In this video, I review some minis sent to me by Monster Fight Club. Specifically, I look at their Team Monster miniature set. These figures are part of their Cyberpunk Red line meant for role-playing games. That said, I'm pretty sure that this year we will see news of a separate miniatures game coming our way. Right now, these figures are a special order item that you can buy direct from Monster Fight Club on their website. In this review, we are going to look at these miniatures from start to finish. My name is Jay, and you are watching Must Contain Minis. I do reviews and showcases of miniatures and miniature related products. In the interest of full disclosure, Monster Fight Club sent me these miniatures free of charge for review purposes. I will also be posting affiliate links in the description below that you can use to get yourself some miniatures that you like and to also help support my channel. Let me introduce you to Team Monster. Monster Fight Club actually modeled these miniatures after the player participants of a cyberpunk red game scheduled for GaryCon. Of course, COVID-19 put a stop to that convention in the past year of 2020, but the group didn't let that stop them. They played the game online with Realmsmith and recorded the session. The link to that will be in the description below. As a note, the game master to the game is actually the original creator of the cyberpunk role-playing game, Mike Pondsmith. How cool is that? Personally, I really like the look of these renders. I wanted to take a close look at these figures and Monster Fight Club helped me out by sending them my way. The miniature renders on Monster Fight Club's website do not do justice to the models themselves. When they arrived, I quickly opened up the bag that they came in. Being that this is an exclusive product from the Monster Fight Club website, it is sold without retail packaging. Once I got the minis out and built the figures, I realized that the miniatures are way better than the renders. Take a look at the level of detail on these unpainted and unprimed miniatures. Putting together the cyberpunk red miniatures was very straightforward. These are resin miniatures so you have to use super glue when you put them together. Here we have a look at the miniatures out of the bag. There are a few multi-piece miniatures here that have no instructions. Right off the top I made a mistake. I clipped off the pegs on the feet, except for on one miniature. It turns out that the holes on the back of the bases you can actually drill out to make room for the pegs. This makes for a sturdier miniature. Now I did exactly that with this miniature. I drilled out the hole and slotted the peg right in there. With the lean on this model, I don't think it would have been able to stand up without that peg. I'm happy I made the discovery when I did. As far as the rest of the construction, I found the models to be very easy to construct. Look at the legs, look at the torso. The pegs and the holes in the models go only with a specific model. Observe the two bodies here. One has a square space to glue in the legs. The other has a round spot to glue the legs. The legs with a square peg go in the square hole and the ones with a round go in the round hole. The decision here is easy. That said, I made one mistake with a model. This time I was trying to fix a piece that wasn't fitting in perfectly by trimming. I ended up cutting away some of the model as well, so I just trimmed it up a little too much. In this next section, I'm going to show you the models and how they looked after I built them. I'm also going to showcase how they look painted. To get them painted, I took them to Forbes Hobbies in Cambridge, Ontario. This store has access to some amazingly talented people and is a great place to go to look for a commissioned painter. I ended up working with Drew Claysons. For detail work, I have come across no better. He does amazing work. Now let's take a closer look at those figures. Anyone give a call out for some heavy weaponry? This is too tall. What a great looking figure this one is. Next up, we have Lucky. So many nice details to paint up on this model. This guy looks like a few of my friends. What is it with beards and more gamers anyhow? Meet Paladin. Again, a very impressive miniature. Now this is Serial Killer. This guy has rollerblades and some sort of sword with him. A really cool figure too. He 
Here we have Nox Area. Not sure if I'm saying the name right, but she has some nice boots on her. I found these cyberpunk miniatures by Monster Fight Club very impressive. They look much nicer than I expected from the pictures on their website. That said, I really had high expectations of what these miniatures would look like. One thing that I will mention about ordering the miniatures is that there is no mention of scale that I saw on their website. If you're using these for cyberpunk red role-playing game, that isn't a big deal. If you want to mix them up with an existing collection that you already own, then scale might matter to you more. I have a scale comparison image that I'll share with you now. Left to right we have the cyberpunk red miniature, a games workshop miniature as a 40k cultist, another cyberpunk red miniature, a warlord games bolt action miniature, a cyberpunk red miniature, followed by a RAFM miniature, that's the SWAT leader there, followed by another cyberpunk red miniature, and finally we have a reaper miniatures 32mm figure. So you can see right there that these miniatures are over 32mm. In fact, if you measure them from the base to their eye, or foot to eye, you're looking at between 33 to 35mm. Overall, these are some really nicely detailed miniatures. Right now you can use them in games of Cyberpunk Red, the role-playing game that is, and other miniatures agnostic games like Zona Alpha or Reality's Edge. Um, I also believe that we will be seeing a skirmish game coming in the future from Monster Fight Club. I have seen a teaser image from them in the past and I'm going to display it here. So make sure that you are watching for this Kickstarter in the future, hopefully in this year to come. Thanks again for joining me in this review of some Monster Fight Club miniatures, and until next time, happy gaming everyone!